What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I have some really exciting news to share with you regarding the future of the iPhone. So Apple has went out and reportedly signed a contract with their rival Samsung in order to ship 100 million units of OLED panels for future iPhones. Now this is something that was only a rumor in the past, but now it's gotten more traction. It's still a rumor, but I wanted to talk to you guys about OLED panels on the iPhone. Why do they make sense? Why now in general, just how this is a good thing. Now, the fact that Apple is coming to compromise with Samsung is nothing new, really. Apple has been using Samsung parts, Samsung made things in their iPhones for so long now. Most recently, the iPhone 6S has the new Samsung chip inside of it. Half of them are made by Samsung, half by TSMC. The iPhone 4, if we look back, this thing is, I'm surprised, not labeled as Samsung. It uses Samsung RAM, storage, the chip, and uh, even some other components inside of it. So even though Samsung and Apple have their own disagreements, Apple has often, very long now, already been using components from Samsung. So this is nothing surprising. It just makes me very happy that Apple will be finally shifting to an OLED panel. And in case you guys didn't know, sales of the iPhone 6S have have been pretty bad. Apple has cut production. People just aren't upgrading that much because there's not much to upgrade to. Apple needs to take a bold step. With an OLED panel, this could finally be what Apple needs to reinvigorate iPhone sales. So this report comes courtesy of Korea Herald and Daily Economic News. What they're saying is basically that the new OLED panel uh, that Apple will reportedly put in the iPhone will start shipping in 2017. That means the iPhone 7S is the most likely phone to get this upgrade. Samsung is reportedly investing $8.7 billion into their A3 factory in order to cope with this demand for Apple. Now this will be a three year contract and Samsung as we know creates some of the best OLED displays on the market right now. Really, there's no reason why Apple would go anywhere else. All other products are inferior. This has even been rated by some to be one of the best displays on the market. In my actual test, putting it next to the 6S, pictures appear so much more vibrant. You know, there are so many benefits to OLED that we don't immediately see. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that. Comparing the differences from OLED to LCD panels that are currently being used in the iPhone, there's a lot of clear benefits of moving towards an OLED panel while there are still some drawbacks, but I certainly think the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. Let's say, for example, dark colors. We all know this is one of the greatest benefits of OLED, so you're gonna get absolute dark pitch black colors because there is no backlight. Not every pixel needs to be lit up when displaying an image, and this is very apparent when viewing media, especially darker quality images. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of that. Now next up, viewing angles are slightly superior. Color contrast and clarity, that's something that LCD does have a slight advantage over but uh, OLED has been catching up for quite some time now. Now, in terms of brightness, it's caught up. LCD used to have the advantage of maximum brightness, and now uh, OLED has surpassed LCD in that regard. And Samsung makes some of the absolute best panels, so I have no doubt that by the release, they will have perfected this technology. There's also a few other factors to consider. A resolution in OLED panels is usually much greater because they do have to make up for the actual pixel substructure. If you use a low resolution panel on OLED, some of the pixels will appear fuzzy, and that's because of the actual structure of the pixels. On LCD, it is sharper, so with lower resolutions, you will get a clearer image. So resolution, you have to make up for that fuzziness with an OLED panel, and that's why they have such high resolutions often. Also, because an OLED panel can be flexible. You can curve them, make curved edges like this, and this collaborates with a rumor from KGI that we will be seeing a curved iPhone in 2017, likely the Pro or Plus model in 5.8 inches, and that is supported by an Apple patent as well. Of course, OLED displays are more efficient. In general, there are so many advantages, and lastly, the fact that you can get rid of bezels is probably my favorite, and the OLED panel itself is thinner, so you can make a thinner phone, which uh, iPhones, of course, are moving towards, while not sacrificing anything, really. So those are the advantages of an OLED panel. What are the disadvantages? 
the blue OLED pixels actually have a much shorter lifespan than LCD pixels. 15,000 hours on the blue pixels versus 60,000 on LCD. So this isn't really a problem because people tend to upgrade their phones so often. This is only a problem past five, three to five years or so if you tend to keep your phone for that long. OLEDs do tend to lose their brightness often as well. So if you're gonna be hanging on to an OLED for a while, it's likely that it won't be as bright a few years from now as when you just picked it up. It's really no secret that Apple is moving towards OLED. They've had so many patents. There have been so many rumors regarding this, a lot of talk by analysts. And in 2017, we're gonna see it finally happen, likely on the iPhone 7S. Now, the details of the rumor basically say that this will be for a 5.5 inch phone. Apple ordered 5.5 inch OLED displays. Now, whether or not it'll trickle down to the regular 7S or 7S Plus or Pro model, we don't know the details. All we know is that OLED is coming and it will come in 2018. I'm so excited for that, guys. Can you imagine a world where we have an OLED panel and a complete dark mode in iOS 10 or 11, whatever it'll be by then? I mean, it'll be absolutely amazing to be able to use your phone with an absolutely dark panel. OLED will just make everything greater that we already have. I'm just a little worried about burn-in, but with this new technology on the latest phones, that shouldn't be an issue. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Just a little update on uh, the future of the iPhones. OLED panels are coming. They will likely be refined better than they are today even. So it's about time Apple took a bold step for the iPhone.